welcome to rd cloud compute in this video i will cover how to install a dmz gateway and attach it with an eft server so dmz gateway is a global scapes one of the dmz security feature which segregates your internal eft server and external internet connect file transfers so it makes it's a secure layer file transfer or a multi-tier file transfer solution so the dmz uh, gateway sits between your internal and external firewalls or so it uses the pnc connection to transfer files between internet and the internet destinations and the eft server so here i have a gateway setup exe downloaded so it's a just a couple of ne next next no database no additional things so just next and choose the location where you want to install the software and next next and this configuration files and other stuff where, where you want to store the program data next that's it it's everything is installed so all other license you don't need to have any license keys installed on a dmg gateway but you should have a license key installed on eft server to use the dmg gateway feature yeah now that it is installed we'll launch the admin console you can see this server listening on port 192.168.0.115 and the port 44500 that's a default port if you want you can change this one so it shows it is active but it is grayed out not connected because we haven't attached this dmz gateway with any uh, inter eft server so that you can choose if you have a multiple ip addresses associated with the server you can choose from the drop down for a ip address which you want to listening uh, want the server to be listening or the port if you want to change or if you want to add additional listening ips and ports so which eft if you have multiple eft servers you can configure them to use different ip addresses and ports for a high availability or a different environments yeah this is the ip address and port we have to configure on a eft server yeah this is my existing eft server I go to the DM gateway section. So here, select enable DMZ, the DMZ gateway as a proxy, and enter the IP address. In my case, I have both for a demo purpose. I have both the servers in same IP range. But if your case, you might have a one in the DMZ the gateway in DMZ and the EFT server in internal location. Make sure you have the port for four five hundred or your customized port is allowed in the Windows firewall as well as in the network firewall yeah enter the ip address of the gateway and the port number so this is the port number and ip address e eft server will use to connect to the dmg gateway using pnc yeah now it is applied but still it it takes a couple of seconds to refresh the connection and show it will show the status as connected yeah now back to the dmg gateway console it is connected so now we have the profile as active earlier it was grayed out now it is green and so it is connected it is now you can see that it's connected with 113 ip address yeah back to the eft console we can see it is connected so you can select those protocols which protocols want to use the dmz gateway you can select from the bottom list yeah, now it is fully connected I'm not going to configure a full uh, event rule, but I'm going to show you how, how and where we can use the DMZ gateway feature. I'm going to just create a test rule, file transfer rule. Yeah. So the DMZ gateway acts as a proxy, kind of a proxy to your internet. So you don't need to expose your internal EFT server directly to internet. Okay, next click um, select the scheduled event, create. Yeah, now we'll select download. You can use any other. Thing. I'm gonna just for a demo purpose. I'm gonna use a download feature. I'm not gonna select any protocols, but yeah, for a FTP, HTTP, or a SFTP downloads you can use proxy as a DMZ gateway or, or you can use instead of your internet proxy gateways it's more secure than your internet proxy gateways 
if you want to secure this PNC for communication further you can use a TLS communication and use the key for encryption so these are the protocols I'm going to allow through the DMZ gateway or these are the protocols file transfers for protocols can be accessed via DMZ gateway I'll just apply yeah it's connected all done you don't need to do any much configuration on the DMZ gateway console so it's all set coming going back to the DMZ gateway console now we can see this there are connections established between the DMZ gateway and the EFTP server the EFTP server is IP address ends with 113 and the DMZ gateway IP address ends with 115 you can see there are multiple connections between the site internal site if you have a multiple sites created you can have a different different profiles configured for each site and yeah this is the DMZ gateway version 3.5.0 version number 33 yeah you don't have any other additional options or license it should be entered here yeah yeah it's, I think we covered everything so thanks for watching